Carrie, your cheerleader of dreams. Today I want to talk to you about how to wake up positive and break your negative thinking. Now here's the thing about negative and positive thinking. Your mind believes whatever you tell it. You are the most influential voice in your life. And when you constantly entertain negative thoughts, it could become your new reality. So I want to share a shocking story with you about the power of negative thoughts and it will literally send chills up your spine. But first, I want to do something positive. I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away three copies of my daily devotional called Live Your Dreams. Now this is a 90 day devotional that will give you a quick pep talk every day to just stay focused and achieve every dream God put in your heart. So here's all you need to do to enter the contest. Number one is subscribe to this channel. Number two, follow me on Instagram. Number three, screenshot a photo of this podcast and post it to your story. Now don't forget to tag me in it so I can see who you are. And I'm gonna choose three winners and I'll announce them on my story on Instagram. Does that sound good? Okay, oh, and I already signed the copies. So let me just remind you real quick. Number one, follow us on here subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, screenshot a photo of the podcast, and post it to your story. Okay, I was walking through the house the other day, and my husband had the news on, and these statistics popped up, and this is what it said. Price of consumer goods has gone up 55%. Cost of housing and rent up 26%. Then it said this, if you're thinking of a family vacation, think again, it's vacation inflation. Prices continue to increase, and then it showed this. Hotels have gone up 22.6%, airline fares 33.3%, car and truck rentals are up 10%, and we all know gasoline is up over 44%. Now, this is not a political channel. I'm just pointing out that we are surrounded by negativity. And when you check out at the grocery stores, you hear all the mumbling and complaining, and I get it. It's not ideal right now. But I also know how powerful negative thinking is in keeping you stuck. And it has the power to stop what God wants to do in your life. So I remember hearing a chilling story about a guy who was trapped in a freezer. Now, I would say no pun intended, but I prefer my puns intended. But this is really a sad true story. So listen to this. A guy named Nick Sitzman was a strong, healthy, ambitious young railroad yardman. He had a reputation as a diligent, hard worker, a loving wife, and two children. One day, the train crews were informed that they could quit an hour early in honor of the foreman's birthday. While performing one last check on some of the railroad cars, Nick was accidentally locked in a refrigerator boxcar. When he realized that the rest of the workmen had gone home for the night and left the site, Nick began to panic. He banged and shouted until his fists were bloody and his voice was hoarse, but no one heard him. With his knowledge of the numbers, wait, I lost my place, hold on. With his knowledge of the numbers and the facts, he predicted the temperature in the boxcar was zero degrees. Nick's thought was, I can't get out of here. And if I can't get out, I'm gonna freeze to death. Wanting to let his wife and family know exactly what happened to him, Nick found a knife and began to etch words on the wooden floor. This is what he wrote. It's so cold, my body is getting numb. If I could just go to sleep. And then he said, this may be my last words. The next morning, the crew slid open the heavy doors of the boxcar and found Nick dead. Listen to this. An autopsy revealed that every physical sign of his body indicated he had frozen to death. And yet, the refrigeration unit of the car was inoperative. The temperature inside indicated 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Nick killed himself by the power of his own thoughts. I told you, it's chilling. And the rest of that article said you too, if you're not careful, can kill yourself with your limiting thoughts. Not all at once like Nick Sitzman, but little by little, day by day, until you have slowly deadened your natural ability to achieve your dreams. Did that give you chills? So I'm telling you, your thoughts are powerful. And when you get up in the morning saying things like, 
I am so tired. I am literally exhausted. You know what your mind hears? It hears a command to remain tired, sluggish, drained, exhausted. In fact, Marianne Williamson, she said, you must master a new way to think before you can master a new way to live. Well, the good news is that you can change everything with the little thing under your nose, <laughs> your mouth. Your mouth is the tool that God has given us to change the direction of your life. So instead of using your words to just describe how you feel, no, use your words to change how you feel. You can literally do that. Now, don't get me wrong. You may still think it, but don't speak it. See, your self-talk creates your reality. You know, Joyce Meyer said, it's not enough to stop saying the wrong things. You have to start saying the right things. So even when the world is constantly affirming how bad things are, you make a choice to get up each morning and speak God's word and his benefits over your life. And you might even say, each morning, Terry, yes, because you are literally reprogramming your subconscious mind with your new positive, successful future. Now, one of my favorite scriptures is Job 22, 28. Listen to this. It says, thou shalt decree a thing and it will be established unto you. Notice it doesn't say it might, it could. No, it will be established. Then it says this, and the light of God's favor will shine upon your ways. Now I wanna emphasize that word favor. God's favor will shine upon your life. Now let me tell you what God's favor can do. God's favor can give you advantages that other people don't have. It can open doors in your life that you could never force open. It can cause you to stand out when there's no reason for you to stand out. God will give you inspired ideas that can produce great wealth. God's favor can restore every single thing the enemy has stolen from you. Now that's just a few things, but here's a cool thing. God's favor makes things happen to you or for you that you could never make happen on your own. You know, I've explained things like, um, you've probably heard me share the story about the referee when he blows a whistle. And you know, you see that referee with the black and white striped shirt and he might be five foot seven, 150 pounds. But all of a sudden he blows a whistle and a 350 pound linebacker will stand at attention. And you think, what kind of power does that little referee have over that big linebacker? Well, that linebacker knows that the moment that ref blows the whistle, he's not coming in his own strength and power. He has the entire NFL backing him up. Well, see, that's what happens when you blow the whistle. You call on the favor of God. You now have all of heaven backing you up. I'm telling you, the favor of God is so powerful. One definition of God's favor is to endorse. Now, see, if you ask someone to endorse your book, you ask someone who has more influence or a bigger following or an audience. And when they put their name on your book, it instantly gives you more credibility. Let me give you a story real quick. Have you ever heard of the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki? Now, you would have never heard of this book because author Robert Kiyosaki, he couldn't even find a publisher for it, so he self-published it. And guess how many books he sold? 48, four dozen books. But what happened? Somehow he got invited on a little show called Oprah Winfrey. She endorsed his book and it sold 100,000 copies overnight. It's now sold over 26 million copies. Why? Because he got endorsed by someone credible. Well, see, the creator of the universe is about to endorse you. So I want you to get God's favor so ingrained in your mind that you start expecting it everywhere you go. Now, one way you start getting that mindset of expecting God's favor is you have to declare it every day. So this week, I wanna give you one of our most popular downloads. I put a list of the 10 benefits of the favor of God by my dad, Jerry Savelle, as your free download this week. He is an expert at teaching on God's favor and how to walk in it. And from studying the Bible, he discovered this list of 10 benefits of the favor of God that's available to you. And it's all supported by scripture. So I want you to get this list, set a timer on your phone that says favor and just speak them out loud. So just click the link in the description and get your list today. And I'm telling you, my whole staff did this. 
and they began to document their favorite stories and read them out loud in our team meetings, and it was wild. In fact, just recently, the Lord put this back on my heart during my prayer time, and I've been speaking them out by memory because we declared them for so long, and I'm telling you, it has changed my circumstances. Remember, your life today is a result of the words you've spoken over yourself up to now. So every word you speak is a command. So why not speak and command the favor of God to go before you? And don't forget, I'll be cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to get more inspirational content, click one of these videos right here. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.